Welcome to the uh, Uniform Circular Motion Lab. Your apparatus for this lab is uh, hanging plain, hanging from the ceiling. You should be able to find it in the lab. Uh, a two meter stick and a stopwatch. First thing you're going to do is uh, measure the length of this wire from the ceiling. I'll record that. And then you're going to uh, get the plane going. So start it up. Give it a little push in a circle. Your batteries are dead. You might want to try it uh, either way. Sometimes it works better one way than the other. Then you want to get it going, and then you want to let it uh, pick up speed. You notice that the faster it goes, the higher the uh, plane gets to the ceiling. Moving in a circle, obviously. Once it reaches a steady speed, you want to measure the height from the ceiling of the plane. It's nice to have two people for this. Run your finger up here. When the per another person tells you that it's lined up with the plane, have them read the distance from the ceiling. Record that. Then you're almost done taking your data. Get a stopwatch. You also want to... Uh, <laughs> Um, try not to hit yourself in the head with this airplane. Uh, we're going to try to bring it to a stop. We should keep that. <laughs> that you need for this lab uh, goes as follows. Uh, there's the ceiling. Uh, here's the length L of the uh, string. Here's the airplane. Here's the height H you measured uh, from the ceiling with the airplane in motion. Here's the radius of the circle that the uh, airplane's moving in. A force diagram would look like so. You have the weight acting downward, and you have the tension in the rope acting off at the same angle that the uh, um, string is. This angle theta you can find from your measurements. It's the uh, inverse sine of H over L, for instance. <coughs> Finding components, vertical and horizontal, of the tension. And uh, in the horizontal direction, T times cosine theta must equal the mass times the acceleration of the uh, airplane moving in a circle, the centripetal acceleration. In the y direction, the y component of the tension must be equal to mg. If I divide these two equations, uh, if I divide these two equations, the t's will cancel and the m's will cancel. Then we will get cosine theta over sine theta is equal to P squared over RG. You use this equation to compute the velocity of the airplane. You know the angle theta from your measurements. You know the radius from your measurements. The radius is found using the Pythagorean theorem in your two measured distances. And of course, you know the acceleration of gravity. So uh, you compute the velocity of the airplane. You then compute the period by taking 2 pi times the radius divided by the velocity and compare that this period computed using Newton's second law with the measured period. <coughs> 